Hello student, I hope that you are doing just fine. So for today's lesson, we have singular and plural nouns. So without further ado, please get a pen and paper with you and let's get started. So to begin with, um, we have to identify what is a noun. So a noun is a name of a person, place or thing. For example, we have child, apple, or city. So these are names of something or someone. Okay, so that is a noun. Anything that has a name that is a noun. It could be a person, it could be a place or a thing. So that is noun. You can also figure out what noun is in your own language. So you will understand that better. Okay, so let's proceed. Um, so in a noun, we have what we call singular noun. So what is a singular noun? So when you say a singular noun, it refers to only one person, place, or thing. For example, we have one child here, we have an apple, and we have one city, okay? So a singular noun is um, only referring to only one, okay? I'll repeat that, only one person, place, or thing. Now, we also have what we call a plural noun. So what is a plural noun? It refers to more than one person, place, or thing. It could be two or more people, places, or things. Okay, so that's what plural noun is. For example, here, instead of child, we have children. Okay, we have two children. Instead, instead of apple, we have two apples. Instead of city, we have two cities. All right, so that's what plural noun is. Okay, so again, I just want to remind you of a singular noun, only one, and plural noun, it means more than one. It means two or more. Okay, so we know what singular noun and plural noun. Um, so we need to know um, how, how singular form or how a singular form is being changed to a plural form. Say, for example, here, apple, you add, you just added S. So it became apples, okay? So child, you added ren, like R-E-N, so it became children. Here, car, you added S, so it became cars. And then tree, you added S, so it, become, it becomes um, trees, okay? So we have a rule or we have things to follow on how we change singular form to a plural form. And we are going to study that today, all right? So here, rule number one, so for most nouns, just add S to make them plural, okay? So just add s to make them plural. For example, we have the word window. So two windows, you just add s, all right? Plate, okay? You just add s, so it will become plates. Cat, it becomes cats. Lamp becomes lamps. So pretty much most of the name, you just add s to become plural, okay? So that's what um, rule number one is all about. So for most nouns, you just add S to make them plural. Now we have rule number two. Okay, so if a noun ends in letter S, Z, X, SH, or CH, so you don't just add S, you add ES to make them plural. Okay, why? Why do we do that in English? Because it is difficult to pronounce an S after these letters since they have a similar sound. For example, um, what if you have the word boss and then you just added S, so boss, it's so hard to pronounce and you cannot identify if it is actually a plural noun. So in this um, situation, you added ES, okay? Because the, end, the ending letter of this word is S. Okay, S, S, so E, S, 
All right. Okay, so next we have the word buzz. Z, buzz. So it's letter Z, letter Z. So you just add ES, it will become buzzes. All right, next is box, box. Okay, X, you add ES, it will become boxes, boxes. All right, next, wish, add ES, it will become wishes, wishes. Okay, bunch will become bunches, bunches. Okay, so that's rule number two. You have to know if the noun is ending in S, Z, X, S, H, or C, H, you have to add E, S. Okay, so that's rule number two. Rule number three. So if a noun ends in a consonant or all letters except A, E, I, O, and U, followed by Y, then change Y to I and add ES to make them plural. So we have example here. So berry, we have consonant R, and then we have the last letter is Y, okay? So R and Y, so you will change Y to I, and you just add ES. So that's how you make them a plural noun or plural form. So berry becomes berries, baby, babies, sky, skies. Okay, you don't add S, you don't just add S, you don't just add ES, but you have to change letter Y to I and you add ES, okay? Next, rule number four. Rule number four, so if a noun ends in a vowel followed by Y, add S to make them plural. So rule number three, it's consonant. Rule number four, it's vowel. So for example, O, you have O here, and then followed by Y, you just add S. You don't need to change Y to I because it is vowel here, okay? Another example, day, okay? It is vowel on, uh, we have letter A and then Y, so just add S. Another example is essay. So that's A, Y, so just add S. No need to change Y to I, okay? You are just going to change Y to I if it is consonant, okay? Like um, the letter beside letter Y is consonant. Okay, that's rule number four. Let's proceed with rule number five. Rule number five, if a noun ends in a consonant followed by O, add ES to make them plural. Okay, so you have to note there are some exceptions to this rule. So most of the words that ends in, or most of a noun, uh, or most of nouns that end in a consonant followed by O, for example, R and O, you add ES, okay? Hero, add ES. T and O, consonant and O, add ES. And then N and O, add ES, so volcanoes. Now, these are the exceptions. Mm -hmm. So I know this is L and O, and then N and O, but when it is like, um, it, when it is about a musical instrument or it's about music, um, you, for some reason, they just add S, yeah. So that's what, it, what, that's what English is. You have to memorize that one. If it is about um, musical instruments or it's, if it refers about music. So you just, you don't need to S-O-L-O-E-S, -O -O -E no, just, just add this, solos, all right? Piano, pianos, memento, mementos, and then halo, halos, all right? So that's what it is, rule number five. Rule number six, if a noun ends in a vowel followed by O, add S to make them plural. So earlier you had to add ES because it's consonant and O. So here, vowel and O, all right? For example, I, O, just add S, not ES. EO, add S, and then IO, add S, okay? So studio, studios. Cameo, cameos. Portfolio, portfolios, okay? 
So that's rule number six. Let's proceed for, um, to rule number seven. So rule number seven for nouns ending in F and FE. Okay, make sure of that. Take note. F and FE, you have to change F and FE to V. V and add ES to make them plural. Note again, there are some exceptions to this rule. That's how, um, that's what English is all about. <laughs> yeah, that's what English language is. They have some exceptions. All right, so, but the rules for most of the nouns ending in um, F and E, you change F to V or F E to V and add ES. For example, shelf, shelves, half, halves, knife, knives. All right, so here, so we have roof, roofs, safe, safes, grief, griefs, kerchief, kerchiefs, and then chef, chefs. All right, so you don't, you don't change F to V here. It won't be roofs. Yeah, that's what it is, that, that these are some exceptions to this rule, all right? So that's rule number seven. Rule number eight, okay, for nouns ending in U-S, U and S, you change U and S to I to make them plural. For example, syllabus, it will become syllabi, but not bus, okay? Not bus, but bus. Syllabus will become um, I, syllabi. Fungus become fungi, all right? So that's what it is. Rule number eight. Rule number nine, rule number nine, some nouns change a few letters or complete spelling. You have to memorize these nouns because these are irregular nouns. You don't, they don't follow a certain rule from regular nouns. So you have to memorize them. For example, man, it will become men, okay? Woman, women, child, children, and person, people, okay? So that's, um, you change few letters or actually complete spelling. Okay, like person it will become people. So you have to memorize it. Okay, rule number 10. Rule number 10, some nouns are the same in both singular and plural form. So it will not change. Also with these ones, you have to memorize, okay? So you don't put S in here, dear, dears, no. It's just dear, the same, dear, sheep, the same, sheep. Fish, the same fish series, the same series. So singular and plural, they're just the same um, spelling or form. Okay, rule number 10. Rule number 11. So some nouns are always singular. Okay, so they have no plural form. And often that is because these nouns are uncountable. These are the things that you cannot count. So the singular form is used to refer to the entire quantity rather than one, two, or more countable items. So if it is uncountable, basically you, it, they don't have a plural form. For example, gold, you cannot say golds or silver, silvers, no. It's just gold, silver, flour, and sugar, okay? So because they cannot be counted, so you cannot even say like two golds or two silvers. Yeah, it's just gold, silver, flour, and sugar. Okay, all right. So that's what it is for rule number 11. Number 12, okay, rule number 12. Some nouns have no singular form. Yeah, they don't have singular form, but they're, they, they're always plural. Okay, so scissors, trousers, pants, glasses. Why? Because um, as you can see, scissors, um, you have like, that two sides trousers you have two sides as well pants and glasses so you cannot just say seesaw because that would be just one side but a caesar has uh, but caesars uh, it has uh, they have two sides all right um so no singular form always plural caesars trousers pants and glasses okay Next, rule number 13, which is the last rule. Yay. <laughs> All right. I know that's a, a lot of rules, but yeah, um, this is what we need 
um, in order for us to do properly, do, do the singular form to a plural form. Okay, so some no, rule number 13, some nouns are used with modifiers. If that is the case, change the noun, not the modifiers. For example, here, so the modifier is in-law, but um, the noun is daughter. So you have to change daughter, not the modifier. You don't say da daughter-in-laws, but you say daughters-in-law, okay? That's the same thing with brother-in-law, brothers-in-law. Okay, because it's the noun that you are um, counting or that you are changing into a plural form. So that's what it is. Um, guest of honor, you say guests of honor, not guest of honors, you know. Minister of education, you say ministers of education. Okay, so yeah, that's, um, those are the 13 rules that we have to change a singular form to a plural form. Okay, so our first activity here, you change the words from a singular form to a plural form. And um, let's see if you can actually make it or if you can answer it correctly, all right? So yeah, and homework, um, please film yourself saying the 13 rules of changing a singular form to a plural form and um, you can send that to my telegram. All right. And I think that's going to be it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And if you haven't, please like this video and share to your friends and also subscribe to this channel for more English video lessons. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye.